Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 6. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 29 of Book 6. Now, in this proposition, we start with the line AB, and we have a parallelogram and a polygon. And what we'd like to do is we would like to draw a parallelogram on the line AB that extends past the line B in a parallelogram that is similar to D, and the total area is equal to C. So that is our goal. So to do this, the first thing we do is we divide AB in the middle at the point E. We then draw a parallelogram that is similar to D on the line segment EB. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to construct a parallelogram that is similar to D, that is the total area of C plus FB. We're going to do that in a couple of steps. First thing I do is I construct, well, I used a rectangle, so I construct a rectangle that is equal in area to C. Then I'm going to draw another rectangle on top of this line here that is equal in area to FB. And now I'm going to take this total area from here to here. So it's the total area now is equal to FB plus C. And I'm going to copy it to a polygon of shape D, but equal in area to this whole thing. So now we have GH is equal to the area of C plus the area of FB. Now FB is similar to D, GH is similar to D, so therefore GH is similar to FB. GH is similar to FB, no surprise. Now since GH is bigger than FB, which it has to be since GH is FB plus something else, the lines KH will be larger than FL and KG will be larger than FE, so we are going to extend these lines to be equal in length to these lines. And now we draw the parallelogram MN. And MN is equal to GH, which I've grayed out so that we can see more what's happening. So MN is equal to the area of C plus the area of FB, and it is similar to D. Now since MN is similar to GH, which is similar to D, which is similar to FB, MN is similar to FB, so the diagonal, they share the same diagonal. So FB and O are collinear. This nom nom is equal to C. Why? Because the whole parallelogram was equal to FB plus C, and then we removed the area of FB, and what we have left over is C. So this area here is equal to the area of C. So AN is equal to NB, because they are drawn on a line with a halfway point at E, and they have the same height. So again, AN is equal to NB. And NB and LP are equal because they are complementary parallelograms drawn along a diagonal. So we have AN is equal to NB, which is equal to LP. Now AO is equal to AN plus EO. A N plus E O equals all of this. If we take A O equals A N plus E O, and A N is equal to L P, substituting L P here in this equation, we have that A O equals L P plus E O. Well, L P plus E O is just equal to the nom nom. So we have that A O equals the nominal. 
And we know from before that the num num was equal to the area of C. So we have that AO is equal to C. And we know that BO is similar to D because it's on the same diagonal of another parallelogram that was similar to D. So BO is similar to D. So thus we have drawn a parallelogram AO that is equal in area to C and extends past the point B by a parallelogram that is similar to D. And that's it for this particular group.